and welcome back. Well, this year, many of our holiday social gatherings will be virtual. So what can you do to make them special? Today, three small local businesses have come together to help you create special memories. We are live at SIP in Mequon with Kishori Beagle, who is the owner of the Coco Tree Confectionery. Good morning to you, Kishori. Good morning and happy birthday. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to have you here today joining me on this special day. So let's talk about this special thing that you've done. You've teamed up with some other small businesses to make the holidays bright. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've mentioned a couple of them before. We have uh, Milwaukee Charcuterie and SIP, and uh, the owner of SIP, Jackie, is here with me today. And she's going to be talking about some of the items that she has that uh, ideally you can pair up with my stuff and with the charcuterie to do a really nice virtual party this holiday season. Well, I love that because that's what most of us are doing, right? We're going virtual. So hi to you too, Jackie Erdl from, um, from SIP. So nice to have you guys there today. So talk a little bit first about the confectionery though and the cocoa tree um, for you, Kishori. Tell us a little bit about what you do and these sweet treats that you're offering for the holiday. Uh, well, you ladies are pretty familiar with uh, my stuff. I know you've had quite a bit of it before. And actually, I'll be sending some stuff with your cameraman, Matt, um, for your birthday here. So uh, at the confectionery, we are going to be doing some specialty items. We have, um, you know, the Oreos decorated as Santa and a tree. We do also have uh, Hanukkah boxes available for um, for a price. Uh, and then the bonbons, of course, would be additional. Um, our standard bonbons and of course the cocoa bombs that everybody is crazy about. We have plenty of those in stock as well. So cute. And those cocoa bombs, those are the ones that you put in a glass and then put hot water over them, right? Uh, hot milk. Hot, hot milk. Mmm, yummy. Okay. Yes. I'm obsessed with your, um, your covered uh, Oreos too, so please throw in one of the Santa <laughs> ones for me. They are so delicious. Absolutely. But everything you do is so good and you opened during the pandemic. Is that right? I did. I did. I did. I didn't have much of a choice, actually. But, um, you know, it's actually been all right. And as I've mentioned before, a lot of people have been great about supporting small businesses during this time. So um, thank you to everyone who's been doing that. So it's, it's been hard, but it's been fun. We've been having a lot of fun with it. Absolutely. And Jackie, I want to chat with you a little bit about SIP in Mequon. Tell us a little bit about your space and how people and why it was important for you to team up. So Sip and Mequon was originally intended to have small gatherings, which has proven to be a little bit of a challenge right now. Um, Kashuri and I met through a mutual friend, and we both had the same philosophy is wine's great, chocolate's great, but nothing's better than wine and chocolate. <laughs> and then you throw in a little charcuterie for it, and you have an instant party. So what we have been talking about, and a lot of these are kind of previews to what we'll have coming out. Uh, next Saturday is Small Business Saturday, so we will kind of be releasing some of these joint uh, gifts on that day, uh, including some joint gift cards, things like that. Um, but what we have done is teamed up to kind of try to give people an idea of how to take uh, some of Kishori's projects, some of Cocoa Tree, some of MK Charcuterie, and some things from SIP, and make them even better. So if you look at the uh, cocoa bombs, uh, everyone is mm -hmm. gaga over them. You put them in the milk, the marshmallows come out. Um, they're great for kids, they're great for adults. And then if you really want to be the super adult, you can put a little <laughs> vanilla brandy in there. Oh, and so girl. what we'll have is uh, yeah. we'll have some gift basket items that'll include a couple of mugs, a couple of cocoa bombs, and some brandy. And that way you can have a family experience around the cocoa bombs. And if you're locked in with your children, the brandy probably becomes more more important. More necessary. Uh, yeah, yes, more efficient more necessary. for your parenting skills, for sure. I love that idea. Yes. I mean, how perfect does that go hand in hand and supporting each other with your small business ventures? I mean, what is your favorite? Do you have a favorite wine that you pair with chocolate? I'm sure that I'm, it's probably like picking a child, right? But you got to give us something. <laughs> Well, so I, what I can tell you is I'm a California red girl. So um, I sell a lot of California Cabernets. Most of the wines that I sell and sip are between a 20 and a hundred dollar price point. So I don't have a lot of, um, you know, wines that you may find in the grocery store, maybe not. I would tell you that one of my favorite wines is Duckhorn Cabernet. Mm. Um, if I were to pick one at the price point, it's delicious. It really goes with just about anything. Um, and so I definitely am a person who picks my wine and then pairs the food with it as opposed to the other way around. Which is how I do it. <laughs> I love that. 
So Courtney obviously couldn't be with us today because we needed to have just two people there for social distancing with MKE Charcuterie. Right. But talk a little bit about what she has and what the charcuterie boards are that she offers. Well, right now she's got these, I mean, these are just gorgeous, this tree charcuterie box. And I know she's mentioned that she has several orders for them already. So I would encourage people if that's something they're interested in to uh, get an order in right away online. But she has um, the tree. She has obviously this little one here, sizes that go anywhere from this, you know, a smaller one up to one that will definitely feed, you know, 10 to 12 people easily. And what we'd like to do is set up a system where uh, we're trying to make pickups as easy as possible so that you only have to hit one location or two locations, depending what it is that you're looking for. So with the charcuterie, um, my shop is a designated pickup point. So if people want to order online, they can they don't have to drive all the way out to Wauwatosa. They can just come straight to my shop and pick their charcuterie up there. I love that. And you do contact uh, contactless pickup as well, right? Because a lot of people yes. want that yes. too. Yes, we, uh, we're happy to do that. If you just you know pull up outside, give us a phone call, we'll run your stuff out. Um, you're welcome to come into the shop, of course, and take a look around as long as you're masked up. It's no problem for us. Oh my gosh, we just saw the dad bod. Um, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, the flask, that's fantastic. These are so cute, all these yes. ideas you guys have. The fact that the three of you are teaming up to do this is just fabulous. I love all three of you. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, and a happy birthday again. Yes, happy birthday. Thanks, you guys. Love it. All right, so here's the details. These three small businesses make a great combination for any event, even virtual ones. Get to them for Thanksgiving. So check out their websites. It's coco-tree.com. There's sipmke.com and mkecharcuterie.com. Again, there's contactless pickup. They've got all those holiday specials. So go to their website. is a great way to get things together for the holidays and support local.